over here you probably hear my freeze dryer running humming away over there in the background but today we're going to talk about heating our food for an emergency situation or SHTF so let's just let's assume that uh, things have gone really bad and power's out don't have no electricity uh, gas is off so you don't have no natural gas you've run out of uh, propane for your propane stove it's rainy and cloudy and your solar oven isn't working which I have all those things and your generator ain't working but you need to heat up some water for your food so today we're going to discuss uh, something I, I bought these they're chafing 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 fuel I bought these 10 years ago and I know that be, well nine years ago because the production date on these is 05 12 so the 22nd of May of 20 2012 and we're in 221 so that's nine years old and these I bought from Sam's Club and they are six hour chafing fuel. Uh, what I like about these, you can buy Sterno and I looked it up on Walmart. Okay, I looked the Sterno up and you can buy that for three dollars for a two hour, 2.25 hour can. So this is six hours. This is three times, almost three times the amount of the Sterno can. The Sterno costs just under a couple pennies under three dollars for a two hour can. 2.25. For the six hour can right now at Sam's Club, you buy them by the case and they work out to be a dollar forty nine a can. And you get six hours. So it's a very, very economical way to heat things up. I bought this off of Amazon. Now, I remember in my younger days, back in the 70s, my teenagers days, we uh, used to go hiking up in the rainforest in Puerto Rico. And we'd buy the Sterno. That was the only thing that we, they had. And they had a little Sterno stove. And we would use that to heat, like, Lipton's soup and stuff. And uh, it worked really nice. It was pretty very expensive even then at the time. And uh, but the stove that came that you could buy was really flimsy and wasn't very nice. So I bought this one off of Amazon. This stove top, and uh, it's made for the can fuel, and it's a very sturdy stove. So I'll have this listed in my Amazon store, which. I will have a link of in the description box below if you want to check these out. These they sell on Amazon and I'll put the cheapest one I can find in the Amazon link but they're about double the price of what you what they are at uh, Sam's Club. So if you have a Sam's Club or maybe a cooking store, supply store or something just use for heat keeping uh, chafing dishes for keeping them warm so maybe Costco, I don't know, I don't have Costco. So uh, I'd check there first. But I'll put a link there in case you wanna, the convenience of buying it from Amazon. Not this brand, they don't have that, this is a Walmart brand, or Sam's Club brand. All right, so on the stove. What I'm gonna do is show you how to assemble this stove, which after some playing with it, I got it down to a, an art, I think. So you turn it upside down, you open it up like that, flip your two sides up, and on these there's little tabs right here, one there and one here, and they go in these little slots right here. So you just lean that forward, put it in the slot, put it in the slot, like so and then lift it up like that that kind of locks it in and then I'm going to turn it up and then you flop, flip this over this has the locking tabs on it as well so you flip this over 
So lift that up. Then you lock those in and everything's locked up. Now you can flip it over like that. And you got a nice little stove top. Very sturdy. So what I thought I'd, and I, what I like about this one is all the sides are blocked, so it's kind of like, like a wind block, and it'll direct the heat more up towards the top. So now that it's sitting up straight, you just lift up on that, open that door, and you open these. Now I will tell you, these lids are screwed on very, very tight. I need to buy me one of those jar opener tools. To get them off, I didn't have some, so I had to use a pair of vice grips. That's how tight they're screwed on. But that's probably why it maintains, this maintained its power all after 10 years here. They're sealed very well. Okay, so I had to go get me a lighter. And all you do is just light that up. Yeah, the slip. Don't look like it's lit, but it is. There you go, I can see the flame a little bit now. And we stick slide that in. There's a little dimple in there that that it sits on. Then we're gonna lift that back up, raise it just a little, and lock that door plate and plate, and there you go. So put your pot on. I got a cup of water here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in, then I'm going to time it for five minutes. We'll see what the temperature is. Wait till my clock turns up there. All right. All right, so I'll speed fast forward through this, but I'll tell you how long it took to get to, uh, I think I got that up to about 180 degrees or something, but we'll We'll see what it, temperature it is in five minutes. Okay, that's been exactly five minutes. So let's take my thermometer out here. Let's see, there's a hold button on here, I think, somewhere. Yeah. And I can stick it in there. I don't know if you can see that. 161 degrees at five minutes. We'll wait five more minutes just to see what it takes for 10 minutes, okay? I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, that's been another five minutes. So for a total of 10 minutes, we've had that going. Let's see what it reads. and 92 degrees at 10 minutes. Now what I say 160 at 5 and that I think 160 is plenty warm enough to uh, reconstitute your food with and that's a cup. Now obviously if you put more in there it's going to take longer. So you want to use the minimum amount of water that you can if you're looking at time. But at 160 whatever it was you know, that's, that's warm enough to reconstitute your food, but uh, we did it for 10 minutes and got to 192, and we're starting to see little bubbles coming up in the pot, so. There you have it. Now this, this stove top is very hot, but down here you just you know, open that up, and when you want to turn it off, open that door, slide your tin out, there's a flame going, take your lid and snuff it like that and there you have it so just wanted to share with you that the cost of and this this by the way is very hot too uh, so be careful but I wanted to share with you the cost effectiveness of looking for the chafing cha chaffing chafing fuel and six hours Sam's Club, you can't beat the price for that. $1.48, and I could heat up a lot of water for with, with just one tin, and I've got a case of 12. I might have to, when I get some more free cash, uh, go stock up on a few more of these. These are very convenient. I'm going to let this cool down, and uh, 
We'll take that apart, fold it all back up, and put it away. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from that. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.